Hey guys, what is up? It is Trinity back here today, and today we're we'll teaching you guys how to make a YouTube profile picture without Photoshop. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube profile picture without Photoshop. Now this is more of a simpler uh, tutorial, it's not going to be really advanced because um, uh, a lot of you guys probably aren't really familiar with this program, and quite honestly neither am I. Uh, but it's pretty much just like a Photoshop online, just without all the tools. But anyways, uh, go to pixelr.com. This will be the link will be down below in the description, um, and then it should come up with this pop-up as well as an ad. Just don't really worry about that. Don't even look at it. Um, and then you can just go to create new image. Now, when you click create new image, it'll come up with a name option. So just do YouTube profile picture. Uh, that's what I'm naming it. You can name it whatever you want. And then go down to width. Go to 250 change the height as well to 250 uh, presets don't really worry about that but click the transparent box and press ok so now when you press ok you'll come up with all this stuff here and then what you can do is you can kinda click and just drag this box and then this little corner here you can kinda drag that out as well and then here's our transparent 250 by 250 image now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go down below here and select this gradient tool uh, as you can see it's just kinda like white to blue it's this little image right here and then this little bar will pop up and click this little uh, gradient box right here and it'll be it, it'll have a bunch of presets for you guys I'm gonna click this uh, regular preset you can create your own if you want but I decided to go with one of the presets now what you can do is you wanna click uh, and hold the click and then drag it to the other edge and it'll make that gradient for you so that looks pretty nice and we're just gonna kinda keep that by clicking this little uh, arrow over here Alright, so say you guys want to add some text now, which we're going to be doing. Go ahead, click this little A down below. I already have it selected. Then go over to your image and click wherever you want. And then type in the text. We'll type in Trinity. And then uh, the cool thing about the fonts, guys, is that it actually imports all the fonts you've downloaded to your computer, all the custom fonts. So say you guys have like a custom font you downloaded uh, from a website, it'll actually pop up here. By the way, if you guys do not know how to install custom fonts, annotation on screen where you guys can go check uh, my tutorial out it's about two minutes on how to install custom fonts it's really easy and the fonts look real cool and a lot more attractive so viewers will definitely feel more likely to click on your channel uh, thumbnails and everything like that so annotation on screen where you guys can check that out alright so I want to be picking one of my favorite fonts and that is Beavis New I don't know how to pronounce it but this is the one that I, this is the font that I actually use for my real profile picture Anyways, now go down to size, go to, let's change it to about 75 here, um, and then you can kind of, you can kind of move it around, around over here, um, it says it's in line, so just make sure it's kind of in the middle here, uh, you can kind of center it if you want, um, and then the color you can change to white by just dragging this little diamond, the circle in the diamond, like the inner circle right here, and just drag that up to white and press OK. Now what you can do uh, is just press OK and then there you go, there's your text. But now we kind of want to add a texture to it as this does not that look that uh, appealing or it does but we can make it even better. So what you're going to want to do is go over to Google. Uh, I looked up blue sunburst, you can look up any other texture you want. Um, but I'm going to pick this one. Uh, but I've already downloaded it but if you don't just go to right, right click on the image, save image as and then save it. I already have it saved. Um, and so it'll just save again. Anyways, now that you're done getting your image off of Google here, go back to Pixlr, Pixlr, whatever you want to call it. Go to File, Open Image. Open up that image that you downloaded. So mine is right here. And then it'll kind of import this image. Um, but as you can see, it's not on the image that our original image that we want it to be on. So go over to the layers here and just drag this layer onto our previous or our already our original uh, image and then now you can kind of just click out of this um, file or that pop-up or whatever but now you can see this is kind of overlaying our text and everything else in our gradient so go up to edit free transform make sure you have it selected and now you can kind of see like the box outline here and we're just going to go ahead and kind of move it around um, so it's over our image here and uh, 
we can kind of expand it out to make it look a little bit better. Just make sure it's kind of centered here. And then you can just kind of click this and press yes. And now, as you can see, it looks nicer. It's a uh, right size. But now you can go ahead and drag this layer under your text. And actually, let's go even farther and drag it under our gradient. And now, go ahead and click your gradient and go down to this little uh, box right here. Click that. Now it should come up with opacity and mode. Change the opacity to about 75. And now you can start to see the sunburst. Uh, you can change it more if you want. I'm going to leave it at 75 because I think that looks nice. So then we have that. Now to close that, you just click this little box right here. And that is that. So now what we can do, guys, is go ahead and select your text. And we're going to add some layer styles to our text. And so to do that, make sure you have your text selected and go ahead and click this little box, this layer styles box down here. It'll pop up with some options. Let's go ahead and do an outer glow and make sure you select the box. Uh, we'll do an opacity of 45, a hardness of 1, and a size of 45 as well. And then we'll go ahead and change the color to a white color. Uh, that matches our text and as you can see gives us off this nice little glow which is very nice now uh, if you want you can add a drop shadow I like to change the distance to about 5 uh, the opacity to 50 or 45 and the size to 45 as well so it kind of uh, it still gives off the glow but the, the drop shadow isn't really noticeable but uh, it's still it still can, it adds like a subtle change to it, so yes. And don't forget to press OK. And there we go. That looks pretty nice. Uh, now there's one more thing we can do if we want, and that is go to, down to your layer, select your layer, click the layer styles option, go to... Uh, uh, you can do inner shadow if you would like, or you can do uh, inner glow. I like to do inner glow. I'm going to change the color over here to a light lighter blue so um, just select the outside color and then the inside color lets you change like the gradient of that color so I'm gonna make it a real light blue and press OK and as you can see our image got like 10 times more bluer <laughs> that's a verb or whatever uh, and then change the opacity about 75 I like to change the hardness to about 1 and the size to about 45 so there we go and now you can go ahead and just press OK. Uh, now, in order to save your image, go up to go to go up to File, go to Save, and then click. Uh, we already have we already set the name for it. Make sure it's on my computer, uh, unless you want to save it to your library, which I don't have one. Um, change this to PNG, and then press OK, and then just kind of, just kind of save it to wherever you want. I'm going to save it to my Renders and Art folder so call it YouTube profile picture tutorial you don't need to call it this this is just what I'm calling it call it what you really want to call it like your profile picture um, but this is a tutorial for me so that's what I'm gonna be doing anyways go ahead and press save and the image should now be saved anyways guys that was a tutorial on how to make your own YouTube profile picture without the need of Photoshop now you can do a bunch of things on here such as make thumbnails and other things if you guys want me to teach you how to do that don't forget to drop a like down below and comment telling me you guys want to see that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and this helped out. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks guys so much and I hope you have a great day. Peace out.